Hey guys, Jones in here. What it do, mate? Anyways, okay, look. So unless you're living under a rock, you know about this Rudy Farias case. Okay. That's a whole clucking shit show. So I'm gonna give you a quick little rundown. Rudy went missing when he was 17, 18. He's been missing for eight years. He's now 25 and has been found. Okay. Mom has supposedly got like 50 different Facebook accounts, be talking to herself and shit, got different personalities. I don't know what's going on there. Some family said that Rudy was at the mom's house, told Houston PD um, in 2018 that he had been seen at this mom's house. Houston PD goes there, searches, don't find Rudy. That was in 2018. It's now 2023, and he was found in front of a church sleeping, unresponsive. That's just the basics of this whole thing, right? So anyways, they get him in for an interview, and here comes Cornell X. Now, if you don't know who this big blockhead mother clucker is, he's got a he's got a iffy background on his own. Like even the new Black Panthers kicked him out and said, "No, nah, we we can't cluck with you no more." Supposedly he's done some good things. Supposedly he's done some bad things. I've seen more bad than good. They usually don't even let this fool on TV anymore. He's been accused of being a fraud. He's been accused of lying to victims' parents, saying that he's a lawyer. It's a whole shit show. If you don't know who he is, look him up on Google, Cornell X, or you can look him up on Twitter, Reddit. The information's there. Go do some research for yourself. Use your critical thinking skills and come up with your own conclusion. My conclusion, dude's a piece of shit that just wants attention. So anyways, he's called in by the, you know, the media and all them that like it, it gets out that Rudy is at this hotel. He goes there to interview Rudy to see if Rudy would talk to him or feel comfortable talking to him. And supposedly that's what happened, that Rudy felt comfortable talking to Cornell. Okay, great, fine. They were talking about cars and stuff. He earned a little bit of trust with Rudy. From what I understand, that's what he's good at with people. So eventually they separated Rudy's mom from Rudy and Rudy was interviewed by Cornell and Houston PD investigators. I think they said there was one investigator in there with them. Anyways, so as they're warming up to each other, they start talking about fast cars and how Rudy likes cars. So Cornell was like, oh, you want to go see my car? It's out here in the front, front of the hotel, man. And Rudy, I guess, was like, yeah, man, let's do it. This mother clucker. Leaves the interview room with Rudy, looking just like this, covered up. Takes him out to his not-so-fancy car. It's just a black Jeep. Puts him in the car for like two minutes, gets in, revs it up, gets out, gets Rudy back out, and takes him back in. Now, what was the damn point in that? I'll tell you what the point was. Don't you fret. Jonesons got you. The point was for the media and everybody outside the front of that hotel to know that Cornell was in there talking to Rudy. It's for attention. He paraded that man out there for attention. What is this called? When you do something like that with a victim? Exploitation, my dude. Exploitation. He just wanted everybody to see that he was with Rudy. That's all he wanted. All the news outlets he wanted them to see. So then they go back in. Rudy's still covered up. They go back in. They finish the interview. So then what's the next thing that happens? This blockhead mother clucker comes out and does a personal press conference with the media out front of the hotel and just cluck and releases all the information. Do, do we know that that information's true that Rudy told him? No, we do not. We don't know that for a fact. That's why the investigators have to investigate it. That's why the crime scene unit was at Rudy's mom's house last night. But this fool comes out and tells everybody all the nasty details and all the gory details of the life that Rudy's been living inside the home with his mother held captive for eight years. If you don't know what those details are, I just, I'm gonna have to tell you, you just gonna have to go figure it out yourself. I'm not putting them out because we don't know it to be a fact yet. The press conferences today, hopefully they'll let us know. I'm not saying Rudy's line. I'm not saying Blockhead's line. What I'm saying is who the hell in their right mind, who was supposed to be there for the victims, who was supposed to be an advocate, 
Why do you think, what in your right mind makes you think you should be leaving the interview room from Rudy and the investigators, bringing your blockhead ass out here out front looking like a whole Lego man and telling everybody the details of what was just discussed without knowing if it's confirmed yet or not. That ain't no victim's advocate. That ain't nobody who's trying to help. You know what that is? That's somebody that does this for attention. Because if you give a shit about anything pertaining to a victim's privacy, you would not come out and, oh my God, what? You would not bring your stupid ass out and leak this information as soon as you walk out the door. If you have a victim's rights in mind and in heart, and you're really there to help them and protect them, you don't do that. So any of you mother cluckers running around supporting what this dumbass did, mm -mm, shame, shame, shame on you. Shame on you. It's not okay. I hope that whatever happened comes to light and that whoever needs justice gets it. Whether it's Rudy, whether it's Rudy's mom, whoever it is, because we don't know the whole story. So whoever needs that justice, I hope they get it. And it's a sad situation. I'm sorry it happened. And I just hope for the best outcome for everybody involved. Except this blockhead. I don't care. I don't. Don't let me. I think that was just super irresponsible for somebody that claims to be an advocate for victims. So anyways, y'all do your own research and see what you come up with. Stop accusing until we know for sure that what Rudy said is true. Because accusing does nothing but make us look like buttholes if the accusations end up not being true y'all keep that in mind keep that in mind this, i mean i just can't say it enough this is exploitation everything he did was exploitation and it's just not okay anyways let me know what you think in the comments thanks catch you on the flip side bye